In this module, you will learn the steps involved in shutting in the well when a kick is detected, how closing in the well can be used to increase bottom hole pressure and stop flow, why responding quickly to a kick is important, and how migrating gas in a shut-in well affects surface and downhole pressures. The first step in responding to a kick is to stop flow into the well bore. This is accomplished by shutting in the well. Shutting in the well causes an increase in surface pressure that adds to the hydrostatic pressure in the annulus. You will see more about this later in the module. If you are drilling, before shutting in the well, it is necessary to lift the bit off the bottom and stop circulating. When lifting off bottom, it is important to make sure that no pipe joints are in the BOP stack opposite the pipe rams. Pipe rams are designed to fit very tightly around the specific size pipe. If they were closed on a joint, they would crush the joint and possibly separate the string. Before shutting a well in, the mud pump should be stopped. Continuing to pump when a well is shut will increase pressure in the well bore and could break down the formation. This diagram shows flow into and out of the well. It shows the normal return flow from the casing head. What would you close to shut in the well? Closing the annular preventer would cut off flow from the casing side of the well. The packing element of the annular blowout preventer fills the space between the casing and the drill string. On the drill string side, the mud pump prevents any return flow. A valve in the pump manifold, or Kelly, could also be used to close in the drill string side of the well. Once the well is shut in, flow will stop when bottom hole pressure equals formation pressure. At this point, the hydrostatic head has not changed.